Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the opening bell. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. This morning, we have a bunch of exciting stock market news and notable earnings reports to cover, as well as the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are mixed this morning with a couple in the red, but not nearly as red as they have been at the start of the week. We currently have Dow futures down 0.18%, S&P 500 futures down 0.06%, while the NASDAQ futures are actually up 0.14%. Tesla will be hosting its Artificial Intelligence Day this Thursday. The event is likely to be streamed on their website at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is expected that Tesla will be updating investors about its driver assistance feature, dubbed Full Self Driving. What's more, the company will describe the benefit of vertical integration. Tesla might also talk about its advancements in robotics. Their CEO, Elon Musk, has talked often in the past about the difficulty of making the machine that makes the machine. Some of Tesla's AI efforts might also be targeted at building and not just driving vehicles. The Tesla stock is currently rated a hold from analysts with an average upside of just over 5%. We have price targets ranging from a low of $150 all the way up to $1,200. First Solar has broken ground at its Ohio-based 3.3 gigawatt manufacturing facility. They're expected to start operations in the first half of 2023. First Solar has invested about $680 million into the facility. Notably, the facility is expected to raise the scale of First Solar's Northwest Ohio footprint to a total annual capacity of 6 gigawatts. At the facility, the company will be making a thin film PV module, which is expected to have higher efficiency and wattage in a larger form factor. Their stock does come in as a moderate buy with an average upside of about 3%, as we do have some sell and hold ratings from last month, bringing down that price target. The most recent range from a downside of almost 5% to an upside of 28%. Health insurance company Humana recently announced that they've completed the acquisition of Kindred at Home. They are a provider of home health care, hospice, and related service in the U.S. With this buyout, Humana is expected to gain a strong footing in the home health, hospice, and personal care services space. The buyout will result in the integration of Kindred at Home's home health operations with Humana's home solution business under Humana's new payer agnostic health care services brand, CenterWell. Analysts rate the Humana stock a strong buy with an average upside of over 17%. Now let's take a look at some notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we're expecting reports from Nvidia and Cisco Systems, as well as Robinhood, and this will be their first quarterly earnings report since their IPO. However, there isn't much of a surprise expected here since Robinhood already previewed their earnings numbers. This morning, we heard from Target, who exceeded analyst expectations, raised their outlook, and approved $15 billion in share buybacks. Target saw their fiscal second quarter sales rise in every merchandise category from apparel to grocery. Their revenues came in at $25.16 billion versus $25.8 expected, and earnings per share came in at $3.64 versus the $3.49 projected. Analysts rate the Target stock a strong buy, with an average upside of just 2.4%, as we do have a few ratings from three months ago that are now dragging down that price target, but the most recent ratings are ranging between 9-20%. to We also heard from Lowe's, who also came in ahead of expectations for their second quarter. They said that projects by home professionals helped drive sales in their Q2. Revenue came in at $27.57 billion versus the $26.85 billion expected, and earnings per share at $4.25 versus the $4.01 expected. Analysts rate the low stock a moderate buy, with an average upside of 24.7%. 
Outbrain, which is a recommendation platform for the open web, reported their first quarterly earnings since becoming a publicly traded company and have since seen their shares fall about 12%. The company reported earnings of $0.28 cents per share, which was significantly better than the year-ago period's loss of $0.16 cents per share. In other positive news, their revenue for the quarter grew 57% year-over-year to $247.15 million. The revenue boost was aided by net revenue retention from existing partners, as well as a small contribution from new media partners. Analysts seem optimistic about the stock as they do rate it a strong buy with an average upside of 53%. And we also heard from Monday.com, whose shares jumped over 24% after delivering upbeat second quarter results. Revenue in the quarter was up 94% year over year to 70.6 million, beating estimates of 62.11 million. The diluted loss per share narrowed to 26 cents from 39 cents reported last year and beating the consensus estimates of a loss of a dollar per share. The company also issued strong third quarter and full year guidance. Analysts rate their stock a moderate buy, and it does have a downside of 5% as we have some buy ratings from three months ago whose price targets have already been surpassed. The most recent ratings come in between 4 to 20% upside. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Alcon. Under the ticker ALC, they're currently up 10% followed by Tilray under T-L-R-Y, up 8%, and Zihu, which I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, under the ticker Z-H, they're up over 7%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by New Fortress Energy. Under the ticker N-F-E, they're currently down over 9%, followed by Cree under C-R-E-E, -E, down over 5%, and the BHP Group under the ticker B-B-L, down about 5.5%. So that'll be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. You guys know I always love hearing from you. Don't forget to stop by 12.30 Eastern Standard Time on Friday to catch Richard Allen and I on our Friday Market Recap live stream, where we'll be discussing some of the events that have been happening throughout the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you back here next time.